On this kid's safari, we fly kites. Flying kites is really fun. We got some new kite kits. We got a dragon, a pterodactyl, and a bird. But we didn't pull out the bird one. Yeah. Hold tight. And we thought a great place to fly them would be the beach, because there's good wind and wide open spaces. And you want to make sure you have wide spaces. What is that? For some good safety tips for flying kites, you don't want to fly them near power lines or anything that can they can get stuck in or damage. I've seen lots of videos of when kites get stuck in trees. Oh yeah, so we gotta reel it in as it gets closer. We had a hard time flying mine at first because we had a string on the wrong side. So it's really important to follow all the instructions. Yeah, you are. Once we put the string on the other side, it was a breeze, and the kite took off. Once you get it up a little ways, it gets easier, and the higher it gets, the easier it gets to fly it. Stone's pterodactyl one had a missing piece which made the wing a little flimsy, so it was really hard to get it up high. Poor Stelly felt bad that his kite wouldn't fly, so when he got to fly mine and it actually flew, he had a great time. Some other tips for flying kites is don't fly them during a thunderstorm so they don't get struck by lightning. And don't fly them any place where planes take off, because where they take off and land, the kites could be very distracting. If you fly a really large kite, you're going to want to wear gloves for handling the string. Flying kites is a fun activity to do on a day that there's a little bit of wind and it gets you outside into the fresh air, which is very healthy. So don't forget to get outside, have fun, and explore your world. Thanks for watching this Kids Safari. Like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Share us with a friend too. Until next time, bye-bye.